So this video is all about how to get symbol lists and groups of symbols to use for running with the Edge Club templates for investigating and getting trading signals for trading leveraged ETFs with Connor's RSI. So when you do a fresh install of Edge Club, this screen is, is what you will see. Um, you'll come into the Edge Club and you'll see on the right hand side a, a bunch of categories and the very top category is all about what's new this month and selected right now I've got January 2013 and it's saying that uh, new for January 2013 is the trading leverage ETFs with Connor's RSI strategy. Now in order to see that strategy all I have to do is click on the blue icon which says trading trading leveraged ETFs with Connor's RSI. Once I click on that I ha have two templates that are presented. There's a signals template and a trade simulation template. On the left hand side is where it says symbol list is where symbol lists will normally appear. Now in a fresh installation there is only one symbol list available and it's called sample data. But right now you can see that the left hand side is grayed out and the reason that it's grayed out is because I've selected the category template. This is explaining what the category is all about. The category isn't a runnable template so you'll also notice that the run button is grayed out. The category really is there to just explain the templates that are contained within the category and when you click on the category you are then able to click on the individual templates. So I'm, I'm going to click on the signals template right now. You'll see that the main area changes to show the signals template and the left hand side area where it says symbol lists so now has now been enabled because and the reason that it's enabled is because this template is a runnable template. The run button is also enabled, this area is enabled but as you can see this area is blank because this is a fresh installation and I haven't previously set up um, a symbol list but delivered in the system is one symbol list that comes with the installation and if you click on the right uh, arrow it will provide a drop down list containing a list of all of the symbol lists that are on the system and there's only one it's called sample data.txt so if i click on sample data.txt you now see this area is populated with the symbols that are contained within that symbol list and also it tells me what date i have data um, up until for that symbol list let's just review what a symbol list actually is uh, and where it and where it resides a symbol list is actually just exactly what it says. It's a list of symbols and the names of those symbols. It resides on, on your hard drive in the EdgeRater directory. So I'm just going to show the file system here. You can see that under Documents, under My Documents, EdgeRater, there is a subfolder called Symbol Lists. Um, by default, the only thing that exists within that subfolder is some list called SampleData.txt. So I can open sampledata.txt. I can open that with Notepad. And so what you're going to see in here is exactly the contents of a symbol list. This is this is all a symbol list is. It's a text file and it contains a symbol um, followed by a comma followed by the name of the symbol. It doesn't actually have to have this second part, the name of the symbol, it could just be a symbol and then a comma and then a new, a new line and then the next symbol and the next line, uh, so on and so forth. But this one, you know, has uh, symbols and names of symbols. But really, it's just a text file. You see, there's no data in here. It's just a list of the symbols. Okay, so anything that appears in this directory, the symbol lists directory, uh, with the extension .txt, or actually there's another extension that works as well, which, which is .lst. Um, anything that appears in there then becomes available in the application. The application reads that directory, picks it up, and uh, when you hit this drop-down button here, it will list all of the files that exist in that directory. So right now you know there's only one. It's called sampledata.txt. Basically then, th there is a bunch of data associated with this list. So where does it get the data for the list from? because you know that the list is only a text file but there's obviously data associated with that list. Where does that come from? Well once you've selected a symbol list you can then hit the little pencil icon here which is the symbol list edit button 
and it will then show essentially the contents of that symbol list, i.e. the symbols and the description of the symbol. Um, I can go to the data, well first of all notice the data provider is set to be Yahoo. So what that means is when I hit the update data button it's going to go and fetch data from the Yahoo server. And how much data is it going to fetch? That is determined by the data update options that are set on the uh, third tab here. And by default, the all of the lists are set up so that they only fetch the most recent two years of data. But you can change that, or you can choose a specific range of date, dates that you want to get data for. But I'm going to leave this set to the most recent two years. Now let's look at the Data Snapshot tab. The Data Snapshot tab is then uh, telling you how much data is has actually been fetched and exists on the system for that symbol list. So essentially this tab is split into two halves. There's the left side which is the list of symbols, then there's the right side which is the actual indication of how much data there is. And the middle box will tell you whether the um, whether the symbol is contained in the list and whether there's data contained in the snapshot. Because sometimes you will have a list and it's uh, it might have an invalid symbol. So when you press the update data button it's not going to be able to get that data from the data provider. And, and therefore the snapshot, which is the thing that is actually providing the data to uh, to the Edge Club, the snapshot will not have data for uh, for that symbol. And so here you can, you're quickly able to see by scrolling down here which um, symbols do not have data associated with them. And then you could remove those symbols or, or try and resolve that problem if you found that to be a problem. Uh, the other thing to know is if you yeah, we're going to get a little bit uh, involved here, um, but just so that everyone knows, the snapshots are also stored on the file system. So you'll notice that another subfolder of EdgeRater is a folder called Snapshots. And this is a uh, essentially a binary file. It's, it's like a, a little mini database which contains all of the data for the symbol list. And it's associated by um, the fact that it has the same name. Uh, you never have to actually do anything with this snapshots directory. Uh, what will happen is when you do an update data, this uh, file will be updated and it will then contain the latest data. But just so you know, that's where the, uh, the information resides. So now you can see that this particular snapshot only has data up to uh, 9 28 2012 if I now hit the update data button, it will go and fetch data from the data provider, which is set to be Yahoo, and it will get it for the most recent two years. I'm not going to do that right now because that will take a few minutes to run. Okay, so that's a sort of general background of symbol lists and snapshots and, uh, and where they reside. So let me just close that down. So now that I have a symbol list selected on the left, I can run this template. And what will happen is this symbol list is now the input to the template. And um, the instructions for running the template are actually listed in the template info uh, tab of the template. And as it says here, to run the report, select a symbol list and press run. So I could do that with this default symbol list and it would give me the signals up to 9-28-2012. Let me just do that because this template is a very fast template to run. You can see the progress bar will run, and these are the signals that are occurring for that list. Of course, this is up to 9 28 2012, so these are not current signals. I would have to update my list first and uh, and then run the template, and it will be giving me current signals. But you can see the date is listed here in the, in the date column. Okay, so now let's go to something specific about uh, trading leveraged ETFs with Connor's RSI symbol lists. This, these strategies are designed to work with leveraged ETFs. Where do you get your list of leveraged ETFs? Well, you may have your own list of leveraged ETFs. You may have downloaded it from the internet. Remember that ultimately, as long as the lists exist in this folder, symbol lists folder, as a text file, they're available to the Edge Club application. The, I've prepared within this worksheet a list of symbols that can be used. And so if you click on the Symbol Lists tab on the worksheet, it will tell you how to extract these lists and to uh, how to put them onto your hard drive. Essentially, each list is in a column. The first column here is called the 2 times equity L list. And we go through, we've got 
um, three or four lists. There's two times equity L. There is uh, two times equity long and short. There's uh, three times equity L, three times equity long and short, and then two times two and three times equity L, and uh, two and three times equity long and sh uh, long and short should be the last one. There we go. So I'll show you how to take the two times equity long list and put that into a simple list on the hard drive. So select the very first row of this list. So I've selected that cell actually. And then I'm just going to go to the bottom of the list. It just goes down to here. I'm going to press my shift key, press the left mouse button. You see the whole uh, column is highlighted. So all I then do is do the control C. Control C is the uh, Windows operation that's very common in, in every Windows application for copying to clipboard. So having pressed control C, this list is now on the clipboard. What I need to do is get that into a text file. So what I would do for that, there are several ways to do that, but I'm going to just open up Notepad. It's a text application and it's on every Windows installation. And then I'm just going to press control V, which is the paste operation. And you can see that it's pasted in the, uh, the symbol list for me. So now, uh, guess what I have to do? I just have to save this into the following location. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just to make that easy for me, I'm just going to copy that location and then I'll say in a uh, file save as. OK, it's come up with the um, folder here. I'm going to actually just navigate so that I can get down to the symbol lists folder and I'm going to give it a name of uh, whatever the symbol list name was, which was, I believe, two times equity L. And it will save it with the .txt extension by default. So I'm just going to save that. And uh, that is done. So now, ha having saved that, uh, you'll notice, first of all, that the left-hand side is grayed out because in order to get to this list, I had to click on the trading leverage ETFs with Connor's RSI category, which is not a runnable template. So in order to, to get that side enabled, I need to click on a template that is runnable, like the signals template. And then I should find in my list here that two times equity L is there. If I click on two times equity L, it turns out that nothing is listed in here. And the reason for that is that there's no data, that there's no data has actually been downloaded for this list yet. So I can click on the edit um, icon and make sure my data provider is set up properly for Yahoo. I'm going to get two years worth of data. And you can see that in the snapshot area, there is no snapshot data. And so all I have to do is update this list. And the way that I would update the list is I can either press the update data button here or I can press the update data button right here, the end of day update. So let me do that. Progress is noted down at the bottom here, so it's updating all of the symbols. When that's finished and it's it's gone out to Yahoo to get that data, I now have the list of all of the symbols and the date that they have been downloaded up until. And uh, the time, so it's noted here that it's end of day data. All right, so now I have that. All I have to do then is press run and I get the symbols for today. And uh, in this particular list, the two times equity long list, you see that there are no sim no signals. All right, so let me quickly go through that process again, and I'll, this time I'm going to get the two and three times equity long and short list, and there definitely will be signals for that list. So, uh, and you can just review what I'm doing by uh, following along with this. Clicking on the category, clicking on symbol list, going to the column that contains that list, which is I'm looking for two and three equity long and short. Selecting that's the first cell, shift clicking to select the last cell, pressing control C to do the copy. Coming over to uh, Notepad, I'm going to open up a new Notepad application and I'm going to control V to paste that in and then I'm go going to do a file, save as, and I'm going to save that as 2x3x equity ls.txt. By the way, you only have to do this once. Once you've set this up, it's done, and you never have to worry about that again. Okay, so now I go back to the signals template, go to my two and three equity long and short list, 
hit my I know all the data is kind of the settings are correct for this list so I can just press end of day update uh, I can see that it's going out to Yahoo to update this data I'm just going to pause this video while it does that update okay it's nearly finished and so now I have that data and now I can just press run and see the signals so here are the signals now for uh, the two and three times equity long and short list and they're all in there okay when I run the application again all of this information is retained I don't have to create a new list all all I really have to do on a daily basis to get the signals is come to the list press update data or end of day update and I'm done now if it's in the middle of the day and you want to get signals for intraday you want to get intraday signals to find out if there is a signal occurring and you want to be trading at the market close you can press the button next to the end of the update button and it's it's the intraday update button I'm gonna press that right now today is the 11th by the way you see my end of day data is only up until the 10th but if I press the intraday update it's gonna to go to the uh, the Yahoo intraday server and the market is actually closed so but it's still allowing me to get the the closed data so it's now saying that I've got data through to the 11th uh, up until the time which is uh, four o'clock in the afternoon when the market closed now I have a full day's worth of data for uh, for those symbols and I can press run again and uh, now I'm looking at uh, today's signals uh, another question that's asked um, sometimes is what if I don't want to run the strategy against all of these symbols I only want to run against a few of them well I can make sure that I only have those ones selected so I can unselect all of these and then if I just wanted to run the strategy against um, let's see I want to run the strategy against uh, DDM I can select put a check mark next to DDM I can hit run and now DDM is the only line that's showing me a signal uh, and there are no signals actually for DDM but if I would selected one that where there was a signal and we know that QID I believe had a signal so let me find that in the list uh, I'm gonna sort by symbol name this QID let me select that and hit run and now we can see the signal here for QID so that's it for a more in-depth look at symbol lists um, you know how to create symbol lists where the data is coming from where the data is saved on the hard drive um, the most important thing to remember is that in order for the Edge Club software to read a symbol list it has to exist in the Edge Rater symbol lists directory once it's in here as a text file it will be read and available within the Edge Club uh, then the other important thing to remember is that when you first put a list in this area will be blank because there's no data associated with that list yet so what you have to do then is make sure that you've got your data provider set to the correct location and that you have updated the data and you can always verify how much data you have by going into this data snapshot tab and just taking a look at the um, columns on the right hand side so that's it thank you